listening uh, here to this uh, lovely woman who's an ex ex vegan. Um, who knows if that's true, but whatever. The point is, she's promoting the carnivore diet, and it's uh, again, it's it's psychopathic. This is the particularly the this is a diet that women love. Okay, um, women love uh, the carnivore diet because it is anti-spiritualism. Because that that's what that's what veganism is. Veganism is uh, the purest, most raw form of spiritual lifestyle uh when when you have taken yourself to the degree of moral uprightness that you consider even every animal that uh creepeth on this earth uh to be it, it, the entity that it is that the ones that have uh, consciousness and sentience actually have those qualities that when you consider these things and and you have compassion and empathy and you have a sense of justice you are fulfilling your spiritual role and uh, the diet of veganism reflects that however uh, it, women don't like uh, spiritualism women are anti-spiritual because they are carnal they are they are the ones who pull men to their base nature they are the ones who ground men to mother earth uh and while it's normal and great for for men to do this in order to have an heir and um, continue the species by in large uh as a whole uh, women are spiritually uh, degenerate, uh, with, with exceptions. Uh, I've met some women who were absolutely pro-spiritualism, but by their nature, uh, women are not. Uh, they are carnal, uh, materialistic base things that love materialism, and uh, that's their nature. Uh, again, that, there's there's exceptions. I've met some women who absolutely embody and promote spiritual ideas against their own well-being even and that's that's when you know a woman has reached a, a level of spiritual enlightenment is when she's even advocating against herself by uh, promoting spiritualism you know that this is the real deal it's because that's women thrive on uh, the material women they it's it's what they seek out it's what their entire uh normal and, and this is evolutionary this this is be by by evolutionary design that that's how they function that's how they work it's why uh it's why there's a, a functionality to them but it's it's the it's the exact same thing of uh why monks uh are rooted in spirituality because they've rejected that completely they've taken themselves out of the material world um they're not even trying to you know propagate um because they've taken that moral uh, stance that spiritual stance so again women love the carnivore diet because uh it's the promotion of degeneracy of spiritual degeneracy for men it's just taking the lowest low road that you can possibly go and so of course you know watching this woman talk about uh and and uh here, here's one thing she says she's, she's like oh veganism you're you're just a pawn for uh the powers it's like the richest industry on the planet is the meat dairy and eggs industry the richest industry is a big psychopath and and we're the pawns we're the pawns right because uh it's just so sensible to uh <laughs> oh okay here's the here's the really funny thing now 
how do you get to be the richest industry on the planet? Well, you have to be really successful. So, um, looking at America, because it's where I come from, it's where this lady comes from, it's where uh, the carnivore diet is uh, sort of rooted, really. Uh, carnivore diet. Oh, the psychopath diet. Uh, why are there so many obese, sick uh, why, uh, the people? Why, why is it that the, the big pharma industry is so successful making so much fucking money? Why, why, is, uh, why is this industry so rich and yet people are so sick? What could it be? I mean, so people are buying meat but not eating it? Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's that eating so much fucking meat is making people fat and sick. And I, I, I could, I could just imagine how that, that just is logically consistent with what appears to be a map of reality. But no, 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 no. That's not. That's not the case. Um, it's that vegans are are pawns for um, the. <laughs> the the pharmaceutical industry vegans are the, are pawns for that um yeah because um certainly it's the case that the uh what is it now 3% maybe 1% of the population uh vegans are are making so much money for the pharmaceutical industry and they've been making so much money for the last few decades yeah, um, you're a fucking idiot if you believe that. Uh, it's really clear based on uh, peer-reviewed scientific research that veganism is not putting people in the hospital. Um, it, it's ignorance is putting people in the hospital, and uh, your ridiculous diets like this. The, the you you have uh, the standard American diet is not vegan. I mean, let's just put that into perspective. Let's just put that right out there. The standard American diet is not vegan. Okay? There's a reason. Because if the standard American diet were vegan, we would not see rampant heart disease and cardiovascular issues and a load of other things. The car do the carnivore, carnivore diet at your own peril. There's a list of diseases you will get. And, and even, uh, even, here's the thing. Even the carnivores know we're right. They, they'll, they'll try desperately to stop these diseases from happening. But <laughs> finally, I'll, I'll be happy to learn um, more and more of cases of people getting um, scurvy and, uh, and, and other, other, uh, diseases from the carnivore diet because, um, at least the ones who are willfully doing this because they're psychopathic. Um, and, and that's a lot of them. I mean, a lot of these people are psychopathic and they deserve to be diseased and die, uh, because they have no compassion and no empathy for what they're doing. Uh, they're, they're just thoughtless, consciousless monsters uh, following a trendy fad um, because it's uh, easy, because uh, they don't want to think about uh, what they're going to eat next. They just want to shove dead animals into their mouth and, and uh, chew that up and swallow it. So um, that's... Uh, that's what I see when I see this. Um, it is spiritual degeneracy. I mean, this is, this is just spiritually bereft, anti-masculine, and and this is how uh, this is how women are trying to take um, power back because um, MGTOW, MGTOW is a MGTOW is a spiritual movement um, of masculinity uh well spiritualism I, I i should say spiritualism and masculinity are integrally tied to one another uh th there is no spiritualism without masculinity 
there is no masculinity without spiritualism. And uh, so when you say that um, your diet choices is carnivore, uh, eating meat, needlessly eating meat, of course, it's always needless for humans, uh, you, what you're talking about is spiritual degeneracy. You're, the, the spirit of eating meat is uh, savage, um, carnal, base. Uh, it's the lowest form of human uh, existence. It's, uh, the, I mean, it's, so this, this is really what it is. The only time that humans would naturally eat meat is in uh, tribal, tr tribal, uh, again, and, and tribalism is, is base. Tribalism is, um, it's very much just savage uh, uh, and, and matriarchal. Uh, it's it's uh, feminine. Uh, you might find, okay, we're, we're trying to get animals, but most of the time it's uh, from scarcity because in nature, humans really, really see... Uh, it, it, it's easy to put yourself in nature and see just, okay, um, what's around? What's around? Well, that plant looks like I could eat it. You can pick up some leaves and eat that, some sort of green foliage thing. Fruit smells really good. You're naturally going to be drawn to fruit, nuts, uh, seeds. These things just look tasty naturally. And But, but when you see roadkill, people don't look at roadkill and think, mmm. And if you do, you're a... <laughs> you're a fucking hillbilly. You're a redneck. You're, you are the inbred, uh, just uh, dregs. I, I mean, you're 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 not one of the ones that's that's uh, particularly interesting about our species, except as some sort of demonstration of of nihilism and um, and de de degeneracy. <laughs> uh, I mean, th this is, it, it's like, at, at the worst conditions, humans begin eating each other. At the worst conditions, humans are eat each other because um, they've ran out of food, uh, there's nothing around, so then they, uh, a, a population will begin cannibalizing. That, when, when scarcity is rampant, that's what happens. Uh, a step up from cannibalism is uh, eating animals. That's a step up uh, from cannibalism. One step. One step. And, uh, and it's not much better. It, it's the same, uh, you know, you, uh, most, mostly it, it, it's from being necrovoric um, because humans in nature aren't... Uh, I mean, we can learn to hunt and use kinds of things to do that. But if you look at our, I mean, you're not going to chase down a deer and, uh, and, and kill it with your hands. You will definitely lose that fight. Um, so we, we can try and, you know, eventually, obviously, technology can um, make us beat any uh, foe except goblins, uh, but, you know, the, the ultimate uh, truth is that we're not really designed to do that, so it's just this step up, you know, we're finding dead animals around and sort of eating off of that, um, but when when there's abundance of plants and 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 vegetation and and such it's, it's it's quite simple to see that the people are not going to uh look at a dead animal and think mm, you know I can't wait to get all that blood all over my face and 
organs and except maybe Sverage and and um, his psychopathic cannibal uh, tribe. Uh, so, but it's not it's not natural. It's not good. Um, it's it's spiritually degenerate. Uh, this is um, it, it, it's 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 a celebration of of the worst conditions. That's what eating meat is. It's well, not the worst. I mean, a celebration of the worst conditions would be a cannibal diet. But um, you know, one step up is eating dead animals. It's a celebration of uh, bad conditions. And uh, and it's 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 morally bereft. You people have done it because they had to to survive. And in a world where you don't have to to survive, it's 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 just barbaric. It's uh, it's the choice to be savage, and not in some like trendy. I mean. Uh, and that, isn't it funny how um, really bad things become so popular? Uh, and and a lot of it has to do with women. Um, you know, the the word "sick" to describe something that that's allegedly cool, or something like that. Um, the word "ill," um, same, uh, savage. The, these these things become popular, and it's because. Um, as a wise man once said it uh something is cool because it takes a stupid person to do it and uh that's exactly what we're looking at with these words um and what is cool except basically uh, uh what's that word um grand grandstanding i think for for women i mean you're you're basically trying to demonstrate value and you do that by doing something fucking stupid because women are basically impressed by stupid things. Uh, and I, 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 have, I have experience. I'm not just saying that. It's like, yeah, I've done tons of stupid things to get laid and it's easy, but that doesn't, it does nothing for spirit. Uh, it, it's, it's like, it's degeneracy. That's what it is. It's, it's men sacrificing their uh, sense of morality, their sense of justice and compassion and empathy and uprightness uh, on the altar of pussy. That's exactly what this is. The carnivore diet is nothing but a lifestyle um, choice to do that. It's for pathetic, um, near uh, insole minded um, individuals. They're just desperate, desperate to be... Uh, to be, you know, sort of praised by the feminine. And, um, yeah, it's a pathetic degeneration of masculinity. It's a pathetic degeneration of spirituality, uh, of spirit. And, um, it's cruel. It's just cruel. Um, so, uh, praise the goblins. And, um, yeah, nothing tastes as good. Nothing tastes better than good karma.